I got challenged by one of my viewers to do a no-hit run first try on a random seed, and I had to come up with some sort of way to do it consistently because there was 50 gift subs on the line. So I thought back and realized that I could use the death trigger glitch to set up a subsequent run where I instantly win the game without having to interact with anything. So the first run, I could take all the hits I want, and in the second run, all I'd have to do is place a couple of eggs, and I'd win for sure. Let's see how that turned out. Got him. Pranked. It does very slowly run out of mana, but that's pretty good. It's crazy that this thing is allowed to have homing somehow. Do we just skip this last floor? Maybe a little bit. A little, little bit of skipping it. Here we go. Like skibbitying the level. Last one down. They're still alive. There we go. Fire immunity. We take those today. We working on a no hit or what? Um, so the the plan is I'm gonna use a, uh, a a trick to to get a no hit for his head. So the you can do a, a like a special strategy at the start of a run where you build out a uh, a wand that casts an egg and the egg will come into the new game with you and then you use that egg to win the game instantly. Uh, and yeah, that's 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 the game plan. So we're, we're gonna be able to skip the, the no hit doing that. I want unlimited heal for this run, and then I just need all the spells and it will be all set up. I wonder if I should use a deer swapper build or a homebringer build. Because the time doesn't really matter, so I can pick up a thing. Drone Cavern uh, has explosives, has some mages, has ambrosia. Ambrosia is definitely one of the things I was looking for. Uh, Deadly Heal is a type of healing. It's not my go to, but it's a thing. What's the end goal of this run? Uh, it doesn't look like a no hit to me. That is true. But that's because we're we're setting up Skyland. We're setting up for a no hit on the next run. And the way we're doing that is by setting up a wand that will instantly complete the game for me on the subsequent run. But yeah, after that we'll try a normal no hit. Gotta keep our edit wands everywhere available. Mr. Perk is great. Seeing I is awesome. We can swap over to using Omega. Uh, there. Omega and I'll see. I. There we go. Nothing else on there really matters. Oops. It's a little wacky. I don't I don't think I've got any good material shifted skylands myself. If I had more of a stomach for long runs, I would probably um try for some of those myself. It's not what I wanted. Big sea of acid. That's okay. This thing goes away. I could take the this thing for extra damage. We're now officially running out of mana because we only rock in one for now. So we need to dump all the healing off of this, and then we should be able to rapid fire again. It's probably overkill. Let's uh, do it like this. There we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna take a moment to look at this and try to fully comprehend what we're looking at. So, this one can be freely swapped. So we can swap blood magic to to an empty um, an empty spell. So blood magic isn't mandatory. Is there anything else that deals damage? 
So this is pretty much the same wand. Buffed up deer does damage. Um, the deer dies, uh, or the deer the deer gets swapped, and we go in the place of the deer. So the the deer won't hit us. We're just going to move to where the deer is. I got rid of all seeing eye. We need significantly more triggers than I thought. Why does it have damage? Because the swapper won't swap with the deer unless it has some form of damage on it. Let's go get the um, the divide buys and requirements. I think that's the next step. Okay, boss fight time. How do I want to do this? I guess we'll just ambrosia up and then shoot him. Is he actually still alive? That's crazy. Fine, we'll do this. Get fricked. Get fricked, nerd. God damn it. <laughs> He's vaguely safe. Because of all the, the fumes. There we go. Got him. Got him. All right. And trigger. We're, we're going to grab all this stuff because I get the sense we're going to need it. You can dupe spells uh, you'll need several of. I don't really need more than two of anything, though, so I'm probably better off not duping. Unless you think that would be faster. Does it divide by ten? Definitely got all the other stuff that we need. There's another divide by 10. Start getting these into position. Divide by 10. And this is requirement every other, which I do need. That goes up at the front. I do need that. Okay, and that goes... E where? Does it go? Here. Replace. Oh, hey, look, it's my dark sun. Cool. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen my son. <laughs> do I need another every other? It appears that I do. The blood magic. So th this is going to be just a, a spell that has zero casts. So we'll, we'll use this thing, I guess. There we go. Spell with zero casts. Hopefully it doesn't matter whether it's a projectile or not. Where's the swooper? There's the swooper. Let's, let's get the back end of this wand done. Horizontal path. Um, deer. And that's all we need there. Self, inner spell ended up not being needed, which I'm surprised by. I figured inner spell would have been a thing. Zoom. Okay, so what is going on with this wand, people are asking. So, hollow egg is a trigger on death spell and trigger on death spells carry over into new game sequences which means that uh, this hollow egg will be able to be picked up in a subsequent new game when i hit new game this egg will exist which means that i'll be able to execute this whole line of things in order to uh th this one takes me from call me to uh, the, the end of the game. So I'm going to make a version that takes me from spawn to Colmy, pick up the work, and then I'm going to throw one that has this, and this is going to take me from Colmy uh, to the end, and I'm going to win. Okay, I'm going to put these eggs on the right. So the, these ones are going here. One, two, three. 
Maybe, maybe we'll do like a fourth one up here as like an emergency. Okay. There we go. And now we're gonna swap this over to the divide by 10 variant. Uh, like so. And then this. All right, so this, this is the other variant. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna spawn one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. Here we go, chat. Here we go. The one on the left is the spawn, spawn to Colmy. The one on the right is Colmy to Endroom. Here we go. This is it. This is everything we've worked for. Come on, baby. No, dude. Okay. Good. There it is, baby! No hit! No hit, undamaged! Let's fucking go! <laughs> there it is! There it is! Woo! Oh my god. Clip it and ship it! <laughs> Let's go! No mods! Just a good old fashioned crazy know how. 30 second run, no hit, no damage, pacifist. Oh, Nelly. There it is. Can somebody clip that? Can somebody please clip that? Oh my god, that took five hours. <laughs> All back. right, well, there it is. I managed to win. <laughs> I did not get the gift subs, by the way. I, I don't think that counted. Uh, but if you would like to uh, soften the blow, feel free to become a YouTube channel member because I've actually got a whole bunch of member-only videos that are basically an extended cut version of all of the different videos that we've been putting out as of late. So if that interests you, feel free to support the channel, and I hope you enjoy the extra content. Thank you for watching.